accordingly. This is I Need More Cowbell, and it is May 23rd, 2016, and it is time for another podcast. Since last week, I bought a, a foam guard cover for my microphone, and even a P guard. So, a pop guard, that's what it's called, right? And I can't believe I didn't have this sooner. I mean, I've been streaming on Twitch. I hear my own voice while I stream. I go back to the videos and I go, ah, I sound terrible. Too much ambient noise. And this this really just takes care of it. There's literally, I don't, I don't even see anything on the screen uh, when I record. It's just uh, the waves of my voice. If you remember last week, to get into what happened during the week... I was going to go to T-Mobile to get a new phone. Uh, T-Mobile is a carrier that I use with my parents because I'm on their family plan since it's just cheaper that way. And uh, so I go down to T-Mobile. I'm all excited. And a guy, uh, you know, obviously those guys are like vultures right when you walk in the door. If they're not with a customer already. And he said, are you interested? Well, you know, what 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 are you looking for? What are you doing here? And I said, I'm interested in that phone, the LG G5. He goes, ah, good choice. I got this phone too. And so we were, we were talking about it. And I'm asking him questions about the phone. Um, you know, something he likes, something he doesn't like. And I then I asked him like a real question, something that was concerning me because I wasn't getting a solid answer online, which is, does it have a USB 2.0 connection or is it a Type 3 or uh 3.0 connection because it's a type c connector but lg's website says usb 2 and everybody else says usb 3 so it's like who do i believe the people who manufactured it or other people so the guy tells me it's usb 2 and i go oh that's too bad you know because uh i would have loved it if it had usb 3 that's like something i thought it had over the galaxy s7 i thought it was imperative for a phone to have nowadays and the guy goes well what do you need it for well you know usb 3.0 offers uh, a great increase in in data transferring and it has you know two lanes for power so we know it can charge your power but the phone does have uh supercharged 3.0 which is supposed to charge up the phone really fast and you know what it does the phone charges really fast and it's really nice But I was still concerned about the USB 2.0 speeds because, I mean, you're transferring, I think the phone takes 16 megapixel pictures, all right? It has two separate cameras in the back. One is 8 megapixels, one is 16, and then there's like a 5 megapixel in the front or something like that. I don't know. I haven't checked the stats yet, but I'll look into it uh, because I got that review to make. And then it also records 4K video. And I recorded a video for my niece's graduation and it was it was like almost a hundred megabytes per minute. So that's just my that's just my old phone. Don't worry about it. So it uh, so I was like this you know these phones are making high dense files now, and I got to transfer them to my computer. And the guy goes, well, why don't you just put them on to the cloud? I don't want to put them on the cloud. No, no, it's okay. Just just upload your stuff to the cloud. Upload your pictures and your and your movies and whatever to the cloud. No, no, that's okay. I don't want to do that. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, go ahead and you just do that because it's real easy. And it's like, look, I don't want to upload it to the cloud. Well, wh- why not? What are you going to do with them? I'm going to put them onto my computer. Well, what do you need them on your computer for? Because they're my movies and pictures and whatever. Well, upload them to the cloud. It's easier. I go, no, I don't want to do that. And he says, well, what if your hard drives fail? What if my hard drives fail? It's like, Josh, why don't you just step back, all right? I don't want to talk to you no more. You're talking to me about my hard drives failing. I don't need nobody talking to me about my hard drives failing. I don't need, no, I don't need that kind of voodoo, Josh. I go, I mean, I mean, for one... Sure, that's always that's always something happening. Hard drives failing, SSDs dying, uh, uh, platters exploding, whatever. Hard drives fail, but I go. I have 
my hard drives would back up. I don't have them plugged in. I don't have them powered on if I'm not using them because there's just no reason to. They just they just happily sit there. Maybe I'm going to get told that that's not safe either. I don't know. But either way, I don't want my stuff on the cloud. I don't have uh, nice pictures like Jennifer Lawrence, but you know I still don't want them on the cloud. So Josh starts getting really defensive towards me, and and I go, you just need to step back. You just need to just go, just go, you know, Josh. And he, you know, he's he's getting all huffy, and I, I, there's no reason why this guy needs to get so angry because I don't want to use the cloud. I go, I don't want to use the cloud because you know what? If these things are such a high file size, and I gotta upload them say I'm not on Wi-Fi and it uploads automatically through my 4G, I'm going to burn through my 4G like there's no tomorrow, okay? I have a video that I recorded from the graduation. That's 1.6 gigs in size. 1.6 gigs in size. And you know what? Just for shits and giggles, when I got home, I tried to upload it just from Wi-Fi and the phone, <laughs> the phone timed out. Not the LG G5, but my other phone. Either way, there's no reason to upload anything up onto the cloud. Unless you're like really curating which one to put. And it's funny I say this because I, you know, I got an Instagram account. I even have a Snapchat, uh, Twitter. Obviously, I'm doing this online stuff. But I'm still selective on what I put on the cloud. What I put on the internet. Because nobody needs to see everything. Nothing's that important. Nothing that is, is that fun. So... Josh walks away. Jose comes to help me out. Now, Jose, I ask him a question, and he says, well, first I ask him what kind of phone he has. And he says, well, I get the, I go, I got the LG G5 for home, but for work, which is T-Mobile, I use the iPhone 6, I think the 6 Plus or whatever. And, and I go, so you got two phones? Yeah, best of both worlds. You know, I got to have a phone for home. And I go, all right. So I asked him a question about it, and he says, well, you know, uh, a Josh is really the one you want to ask. I said, are you kidding me? Yeah, well, Josh is the, the technical guy here. I was like, you're telling me that that asshole over there is the only guy that knows anything in this store. Anything technical about the phones. That's ridiculous. And it, you, get, you get into the same situation, whether you're working, whether you go to a Best Buy Fry's Electronics, any any kind of like specialty store. Unfortunately, they don't allow people. They don't hire people that know anything, and they just want them to you know sell uh, the insurance plans, or the Geek Squad stuff, or whatever. I mean, it was a, it was a, I, I I went with my mom to get a laptop, and it was borderline insanity just to get the laptop. And, and after that situation, I told I told I go, you know what? You're not buying any more computers from now on. I go, I don't want to hear nothing from you. I go, if I could, I'd build you one. But I I don't think I can build a laptop. Sure, I haven't looked into, into that either. But it just gets crazy sometimes. <sighs> so I went back to ta talking to Josh. I didn't apologize. I ain't going to apologize for the way I I dealt with him, let alone the way he talked to me. About my hard drives failing or anything else he might have said. And so we kind of, you know, just went, you know, we moved past it. We moved past it. And I said, I'm going to get the phone. So I go, I go, I told Jose, I go, get me the silver. Get me the silver one. The gold is a little flashy. I don't like it. The silver is more neutral. So he goes, I don't know if we have it, So, but let me go look. So he goes and looks while I'm talking to Josh. Or I'm asking him questions about it. He comes back and he says he only has gold. <sighs> All right, well, give me the gold. He said he's gonna ask. He, he has some other stores, and he said there's you know some stores around that have it. But I go, well, I want the phone now. They go, give me the gold. So I go back to talking to Josh, and we're going through the whole process of getting the phone now, or you know, putting in my information, whatever. And it turns out that I'm not authorized on my parents' account to get a new phone. Even though I've had, <laughs> even though I've been on the account longer than them, I'm not authorized to be on the account. To, <laughs> to, I'm not authorized on the account. Uh, so I said, whatever. So I leave. I leave. 
absolutely ridiculous. All that hubbub, and I couldn't even get the damn phone. Later on in the day, you know, I, I call up the T-Mobile when my mom gets home from work, and I tell her, I you know, we talk to the T-Mobile guy. I'm authorized, and la-di-da, I get the phone. Go to T-Mobile later on, but I go to a different one. I go to another T-Mobile that I called up and found out they had the silver phone. I get there. I called up, and Eduardo told me that they had the silver phone. I get there, and it turns out that Eduardo doesn't exist, apparently. <laughs> Dolly was like, oh, who told you that you we had the silver phone here? And I said, Eduardo. And she just had the 1,000-mile uh, stairs. I, I, we, I, we don't have an Eduardo. Whatever. When I did, when I walked in and she helped me, she, she said, uh, so what can I help you with? And I'm here to get a phone. Well, what phone? And I point to the LG G5. And right when I said that, I hear a... As this guy turns around, Christopher, I don't remember his last name, but he's an LG representative and he came over to talk to me. <laughs> so I'm asking him questions. We're talking about it. We're having a good time. All right. While I'm doing this, Dolly is running through the process of getting everything settled through and getting me the phone. So I asked Christopher, I go, so does this have a USB 2.0 or USB 3.0? And he says, and I go, and don't you tell me it's as a USB type. I go, no, no, I, I'm sorry, sorry. I say, can you tell me what kind of connector this phone has? And don't you tell me it has a Type C connector. And right when I say Type C connector, he says it too, a Type C connector. And I go, no, is it USB 2.0 or is it USB 3.0? I go, it's USB 3.0. And I go. Now, is it USB data 3.0 or is it USB supercharge 3.0? Supercharge being the power. And he goes, oh, it's, it's uh, supercharge. Same thing. USB 2.0 is data. USB supercharge 3.0 is power. So we kept going back and forth. And not getting mad. Not getting mad with Chris. I'm just trying to, you know, find a solid answer here. So he has to leave. He, he says, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to go and call somebody. So he goes and he calls somebody and I'm talking with Dolly, getting all the paperwork settled up. He comes back and he says, you know what? You're the first one that's ever asked this question. He goes, they tell me that it's a USB 2.0 connector, but it's a type C port. So that's weird. He goes, but it can do USB 3.0 because it has a chip inside that I get the type C chip, I guess. But the hardware on the module that comes off is USB 2.0. And I go, oh, well, that's great. You're talking about how phone doesn't have a shutter button. That's dumb. Can't have a shutter button with for taking pictures. I mean, it uses the volume rocker, which actually, I guess, works okay. But because well, you want the shutter button, you got to get the module. I don't want to pay like 80 bucks for a module. And it, and it sticks out real bad. The phone case doesn't work for it. And then what does he say? Well, that's up to the third party. It shouldn't be up to third party to use a module that that, that doesn't fit. I mean, and then there's a DAC module too, but that doesn't even... That's not even available in this country. So we're talking to... You know, we get back to talking. Dolly is still working up the paper. I, you know, she's getting... She's, she's She was running the phone through the paces while we were talking. She didn't... She didn't she wasn't part of the conversation at any point. She didn't want to jump in. We're talking this and that. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're talking about features the phone has, features it doesn't have. We started discussing the LG OLED TVs, which are just gorgeous. And in the end, in the end before I leave, he goes, Hey, um, Nick, before you go, do you think I get a picture with you? And I go, so what? You can show everybody, hey, look at this asshole. That uh, gave me a, a hard time at, at the T-Mobile store in Phoenix today. No, 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 he says. No, no. It's just, you know, I haven't met anybody who's so knowledgeable about this stuff. Hmm. Okay, whatever. So we took a picture. It was fun. He's a nice guy. I should take my phones off the counter. He's a nice guy, you know. Nice people. And, uh... I got my phone. I got the phone and I got home. 
And I didn't even want to touch it. I don't want to touch the phone because I didn't have the case. I didn't have the screen protector. And I waited a whole day. Tuesday, I get the screen protector in the case. I put it on. And, you know, it's great. But, you know, it's already late in the day. And I didn't even get to get around to using it. Wednesday comes around. And uh, I, I suggested my mom wanted a, you know, cheese crisp. I suggested we go to a, you know, a nice restaurant. Uh, I suggest we go to a restaurant and, you know, invite my sister and her daughter. And then I go, you know what? Ask her. We can invite my brother also. We don't, we don't get to see my brother too often and his family. And they said, you know, my brother said, hey, we'll, you know, we'll come down. So the whole family went down. We all went down to a nice Mexican restaurant and had a good meal. I got to show everybody my phone. It was all exciting. Good times. Had the <laughs> after the meal, you know, I take pictures and show them after the meal, you know, on the way home, I realized my phone's not working. My my home button doesn't go to home. If I go into like say a website or you know, open up a browser and go into that and I go a couple of pages in, you know, the only way I can exit the app is by pushing the back button like 10, 20 times. The button that minimizes and shows all the apps didn't work. My notification tray didn't work. When I locked the phone, the lock screen never came up. I I could not believe it. The next, I, you know, I turned off, pulled the battery out, restarted the phone several times, nothing happened. Ah, so in a last ditch desperation effort, I I should have waited. I should have waited. And I should have took pictures. I should have recorded it for the review. You know, I couldn't. I don't know. I I thought about it the whole time, and I don't know why I still didn't do it. In the end, I hard resetted the phone, and the phone works fine now, no problems. So far, I had a confrontation with Josh at T-Mobile. I had, and my phone shut down. My phone stopped working. Uh, two days later, I didn't even work, use it for two days, two whole days. You know, before I actually used it. All right. Thursday. You know, on the weekends, I deliver pizza. It's it's an easy job. You know, get in my car. Uh, the store is busy. I get in my car. I throw in the pizza. I drive off to the customer's house. They're happy to see me. I'm semi-okay to see them. And <laughs> we have a, a small uh, forced uh, conversation. Good times. Good times all around. At the end of the night, my headlight goes out. My left, my driver's side headlight starts blinking and like I turn on the lights and it'll turn on for like five seconds and then it flickers and turns off. <sighs> okay, whatever. You know, end of the night anyway, so I don't have to worry about it. Friday comes around. I got to go to work. I got to get, you know, I got my pizza uniform on. It's just a, it's just a blue shirt, you know, blue shirt with a store logo on it. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing Nothing crazy like Domino's. And I get my phone, which worked great the day before. GPS and and the battery was amazing. Of course, I still carry around my other phone because I have all my contacts in it and my maps for the apartment complexes. So I haven't transferred anything over yet because I'm being real lazy about it. So I get my phone, I'm going downstairs, and I notice that my phone says uh, to, you know, to turn on phone, please put in a, another, uh, an official module. What? An official module? So I kept turning off my phone, I kept restarting it, and it didn't want to work. It just kept telling me that, and I got worried. I go, oh my God. So between the phone... And my headlight not working. I mean, I was going to borrow my mom's car. And it didn't matter. Because my phone wasn't working. Now that my phone wasn't working, I couldn't... You know, there's... You know, it's a big, big area. And I don't know all the houses. And I use, you know, Google Maps to find out where I'm going. And so, since the phone didn't work, I didn't have maps. I didn't have GPS. But not only that, I didn't have a working phone. So if I do get held at gunpoint and my car gets robbed who am i gonna call i can't call the police i can't call anybody because i had no phone so out of a safety measure i told them you know 
I couldn't even call the store and tell them that I did not have a phone. So I had to go into the store and tell them that I couldn't work. And they said, okay, yeah, no problem. They're real nice about it. <sighs> After that, I went to the T-Mobile store and, you know, there was nobody there that I dealt with before. I was really hoping that Chris was going to be there, the LG rep, just so I could talk to him and say, hey, your phone's freaking out on me here, man. And so, <laughs> but what's real, what really sucked about it is I talked to the manager there that because he, he was outside helping. I talked to him, show him my phone. He takes out the battery, he puts it back in, and the phone works. And it... <laughs> It was like updating a firmware or something, and it didn't really tell me. I mean, at one point, when I did restart the phone, I plugged it into the computer, just like any type of power source, and it said upgrading firmware, and it froze on that. So I was like, well, what the hell's wrong with the phone? So the phone updated, and it's been working great now, so whatever. So Friday, you know, when I get back from the store on Friday, from uh, the T-Mobile store, I pull off my I, I got I got I got to fix my headlight so I'm already worried because I the car I bought the guy I bought the car from he put in after market headlights so I'm a little worried about them I open the hood I I start I, I, I look I look at the housing for the light I can't get to the light it's got screws holding this clamp holding the light bulb in and I can't get to it because of a, I think, it's not brake fluid, I don't know, some oil thing is in the way, we'll say windshield wiper fluid, whatever, so I couldn't get to it, so I was like, well, I gotta take out the headlight, so I take off these two stop screws, and it moves, but it doesn't come off, and I take out this other bolt, and it moves more, but it, I can't get it out, there's one more, oh, well, in the end, I had to take off these bolts for the headlamp. I had to take off the front bumper. And it's also bolted to uh, the turn signal. I take all those off just to get the light out. And during that time, my mom wanted to help. And she went to uh, AutoZone and she bought a light bulb for my car. She asked the guy about the car and she bought a light bulb for the car. I take out the light bulb from the car, and it's uh, it's not a hal is it a I think it's a halogen bulb I don't know it's some it's a HID light and it looks absolutely nothing like the light bulb she brought me, and the connector doesn't fit at all, you know aftermarket kit completely different connection. So I was like, well, shit. <laughs> All that work, and obviously, you know, I, the car, I can't put the car back together. And it's already, it's like 8, 9 o'clock at night now. I mean, I when I got, I did this after I didn't go to work, and after I didn't, after I came back from T-Mobile, which is like 7 o'clock, which was fine, because in Arizona, uh, the sun's finally going down by 7.30, 8 o'clock, and so it was cooler, and it was nice to be outside. At one point, I was literally, I was just laying on my back on the driveway, looking up at the sky, and it was beautiful. Of course, I was, you know, undoing a bolt under the bumper, but it was beautiful. I saw some things that I'm pretty sure shouldn't be moving around up there like that. Maybe it was a satellite. It was really high up. I go, I can tell if it's a plane or even a helicopter. There's been a lot of helicopters flying around lately. Different story, another time. <sighs> so, the next day, Saturday, I was like, well, I need to find out what this light bulb is. This light bulb has no markings on it. All it says is 5K, which I assume was the temperature of the light bulb. So, there's no markings on it. Luckily, the guy I bought the car from, he gave me this big storage bin for uh, all the parts. All these extra parts, uh, you know, stuff he bought for the car, whatever. So the box for the HID conversion kit is in there. And with that, I'll be able to find out what kind of bulbs it is. Unfortunately, when I was looking around, 
on Friday, it's not in the garage. And then afterwards, after looking everywhere, I remembered, oh yeah, my dad wanted a little extra room in the garage, so we put it in storage. I've been moving around a lot since high school, and um, I don't exactly have like my own little living space. All my stuff is in, in boxes, and most of my stuff's in storage. So I go to the storage on Saturday, and I was like, well, I better eat something before work. And I see Whataburger, and I was like, I'm going to get that after the storage. Go to the storage. I don't remember the code to get into storage, so I have to talk to the guy. <laughs> and uh, But he, he knows us enough, so he gave me the code. Because the storage is unfortunately not in my name, which is still funny. If it's my stuff. And I get to the storage, and the key my dad gave me wasn't the right key. So I had to come all the way back home, get my set of keys, go back to the storage. Oh, my God. And then I find out that the lock wasn't even in the right spot. Storage wasn't even locked. I opened the door just by lifting it up. I couldn't believe that. And usually the storage calls you and tells you, hey, this isn't right over here. You better go come and fix it. But nothing was moved. Everything was still in its nice order. Uh, I get my storage bin of car parts and I get the conversion kit out. While I was in there, I saw my backpack of some old stuff. Uh, specifically my N95, which is another old phone. I decided to take that out because when I start doing reviews for my phone, and I guess maybe just cameras in general, I can compare it to other cameras that I have, which is the N95. Somewhere in, in the house, I believe the N8 is, my Nokia N8, and then I, obviously my Xperia Z1S, and now my uh, LG G5. You know, just compare all the cameras. Because that's, that's, that's all I can really do. Uh, so I leave. I go to Whataburger. Nobody's in line. It was beautiful. Whataburger, there's always a big line. And it takes forever. But there's a line to get onto the main street, which is blocking the entrance to the drive through So I drive around the front of the building instead of the back. And by the time I get to the drive through entrance, two cars pulled up in front of me. <laughs> so now I end up waiting like 10 minutes for my damn food the only reason I really wanted to go to Whataburger is because I love their tea they have uh, delicious sweet tea made with real sugar and I don't care what anybody says I can tell the difference between high fructose corn syrup and sugar it, it has like a, a hard it, 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 it tastes like a spike you know just like it's, it leaves a texture on the tongue and I don't like it so when I can drink sodas or whatever with, with real sugar it is just the best that's why everybody here loves the uh, mexican cokes because they're made with real sugar i don't buy them because the prices they they they're 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 being price gouged i'm, I'm getting gouged here on prices uh on the way home i eat my fries eat my burger and i get i get i get out of the car i go to the passenger side and take this stuff out and i get my cup of tea and as i'm Pulling it out, my arm hits the passenger door. The cups are styrofoam, so it just instantly slips out of my hand because I was holding it up at the top by the lid, you know, at the lid, the top area. It slips out of my hand. The cup falls, it hits the, the driveway and just sprays everywhere. I mean, I didn't get any tea on me, the car didn't get any tea inside, it went all under the car all over the driveway and I just I just stood there looking at it I go that was the saddest thing so far I guess my tea oh it, it it's making me sad just thinking about it <laughs> yeah so after that I look at the part I find a guy online on eBay who's selling them I order I order some bulbs I won't get them till next week he's the only person that's well, I mean, I'm sure other people are selling them, but he's the only one that I saw. Uh, AutoZone isn't selling them. Uh, no, they're not selling anything that looks anything like this. I'm sure there might have been some, like, import place that sells them, but this guy was selling them for two, for 10 bucks. So, I ordered two, but I'm pretty sure I ended up ordering four because they're, like, two per order. Ah, I go to work. Easy peasy day, you know. 
the the car that my mom that I that my mom drives has great AC. Uh, it used to belong to my my brother, and my dad brought it. My dad fixed it, and I brought it. I drove it from Louisiana, so she can drive it. So she drives it, but you know she doesn't really go anywhere on the weekends. And if she does, she can take her other car. Yeah, my family has a lot of cars. That's that's like half of the half of them. I have only listed half of them. Uh, so Sunday rolls around, you know, same old, same old. I get I get to work, and you know everybody's in general malaise. It's Sunday. It's not too busy. It's not too slow. I end up taking a double, two pizza orders next to each other. One of them uh, is at the pool area of a hotel. You always get a little excited for those, right? I know better. <laughs> so I deliver the pizza for them, and then I go to the second pe- the second place was an apartment complex. I de- delivered the pizza to that guy, and you know he's got a little chihuahua that he's holding in his arm and. That dog just just did not want to be there. I go back to the car, and it won't turn on. The battery died. My mom's been having an issue with the battery for the last few weeks, and it died on me. <laughs> so now I'm stuck. I'm stuck in an apartment complex, and somebody's personal sparking spot, you know, under, underneath those uh, canopies, Oh, man. (laughs) So I call my mom. She's not answering. The only other person I could... I mean, I can call my brother, but most of the time he can't help. And then... uh, So I call my sister. And I'm worried about calling my sister because I've had a bad experience asking her for help in the past. Which was, I got stuck for two hours waiting for her in the December cold. And it was not fun. I go, but it was a beautiful day. So I go, if I got to wait two hours, I'll be all right. You know, I just I just don't want to deal with the person coming. Like, hey, that's my parking spot. You don't need to be parking there. And I'm like, oh, my car broke down. You know, I was delivering pizza, blah, blah, blah. So eventually she came and we jumped the car. She was painting her nails. I was worried about that too. She was painting her nails. So I was like, ah, she's got to wait for them to dry and blah, blah, blah. They're going to get ruined. I mean, she doesn't have to do nothing. She doesn't have to get here. So she got here. She jumped. We jumped my car. Everything worked out great. Oh my God. I completely forgot about this other part. Okay. So we jumped the car and I go home and I, I just go home and I wait for mom. Get the battery taken care of and afterwards, you know. I go back to work and I just clock out for the day. I go, that's enough. I've had enough for this week. I'm done. And go back. I go I, and I go after work. I go and I get some some food for us. Let me before before I continue, I want to mention on Friday, um, after I took out the headlight and I found out that I don't have the bulb or the box. You know, I go, I'm done for Friday, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go get something to eat. I, I think I went to like Jack in a Box or something. Got a munchy meal. <clears throat> so I took my mom's car. And I get to the drive through window. Or yeah, the drive through menu. And to, and I roll down the window. Well, my car only has two windows. The front the front windows. I don't have any back windows because it's a hatchback. My mom's car has four windows because it's, it's a sedan. And I don't know the buttons. I don't remember the buttons. I don't drive this car too often. I always drive my car. So I, I push the wrong buttons. And I roll down the back windows. When I roll down the back window. On the driver's side. <laughs> there was a loud pop. And the window fell down. <laughs> oh, The motor still works. But it sounds like it's not connected. To the window anymore. The glass. So I go. And I won't go back up. Uh, so I broke the window. I broke my mom's rear window on Friday. So to recap, I I, I got to deal with Josh on Monday. Uh, my phone stopped working 
on uh, Wednesday. On Friday, my phone completely stopped working, and then it started working again. I find out that I don't have, that I can't just buy a new headlight. I broke my mom's window, and then on Sunday, the battery dies and I get stuck for three hours. It was three hours before I can get back to work. That was a good week. It was a good week. It was a good productive week, right? Uh, mm. Yeah, on a lighter note, um, during the week I managed to clean up my computer, um, make some space so I could uh, start working on the company montage. I've got I got an SSD from my main hard drive and it is beautiful. I highly recommend anybody get that type of thing. If you just if you have I mean they're not too expensive anymore. Where the hell is my phone? They're not too expensive anymore and and they they are just they are just so great. They are wonderful. My computer starts up so fast. So I freed up some space. I cleared off my whole desktop. I'm ready for the montage. Got to make sure and I get all those clips down. Unfortunately, I haven't downloaded any clips, but I'm going to do that today. Um, not right now, but after the you know, after I record this, I got I got a stream on Twitch in about an hour. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. I got that cleaned up. Um, it feels nice, you know, having having a nice desktop and not just full of crap everywhere and all it was what was uh, all the stuff on my desktop was just like video files and clips and stuff like that from the other two from the i made like two videos the lg unboxing and then another video showing um halo armor customization because uh two people commented to me saying that you know oh uh, Halo 4's armor was better than Reach and this and that. And I was like, no, let me show you. Make a video of it. And while I did that, I also recorded a... My best game in Halo Reach was Team Doubles. So it was four teams of two. And it was, you know, first to 50. And, I mean, my team lost. But my team came in second place. I had, uh, I think, 42 kills. We lost by, uh, I think, five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that video up eventually too. I also recorded some All right, I went back and I looked at uh, previous incarnations of the Calbellisium, my uh arena my free for all map in Forge that I make which I'll, you know, I got I got I got to get a good fire team of well, I think I think I can do 16, right? In a, in a free for all game and for customs I'm not I'm not 100% sure, I don't know. Uh, on Thursday, I went to my niece's graduation promotion. I don't know. It's from 8th grade. She's she's going from 8th grade to uh ninth freshman high school. That was that was nice, you know. The graduation was nice. Or the ceremony, I guess I just say instead was nice. Um she was dressed real nice. She was worried that somebody else would have her dress because they bought it at Macy's. <laughs> and uh, nobody had her dress. Nobody had her dress. I'm going to say this right here. I was I was pretty uncomfortable there at that school. And the reason why, the reason why is if you took a lot of those girls out of that environment and put them in a more adult environment, you wouldn't even known how young they were. These girls were dressed so much older, I'll just say that, than um, you'd expect them to be. I mean, I mean, one girl, I swear her skirt, her, she was wearing like a, 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 a gray, it almost looked like a, just like a sock. <laughs> it was just, a, it was a gray dress and it was so tight on her I mean you saw like you saw you can just it was just basically like a walking silhouette you know you just saw like all of her form 
and it it just ended just shy of of her of her lady bits and 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 at first i thought you know she was just like you know older sister or whatever no she she was in the, the ceremony she got her little diploma and everything and she wasn't the only one i mean there's a lot of girls that were dressed like that and it was it was weird i don't remember girls dressing like that when i was in junior high but then again at my school we wore uniforms white shirt and blue shorts i don't even remember if there was a ceremony for completing the eighth grade uh, after that we went to go eat with my uh with her grandparents on her dad's side and her with my sister's family-in-law we'll say that with my sister's family-in-law and they're okay, you know, they're not, they're different. Everybody's different. We are going to go eat at Olive Garden. No, she, nobody ever, and they're like, oh, let's go eat. I, I don't want to. Let's go eat, and we'll, you know, I was like, but where? Nobody knows where to go eat. We went to one restaurant, but they're not open till like 4 o'clock, 4 to, 4 to 9 during the week. Whatever. So he went to a different restaurant. We went to Olive Garden. But, of course, they were packed from this ceremony. We actually saw people from the graduation there. And this, this Olive Garden is like four miles away, five miles away. It's, it's, it's a good distance. Got to get on the freeway to get there. So, we went to Native New Yorker Bar and Grill. Not, not the, uh, not screaming with class, but, eh, that was Okay. I got a chicken Caesar salad. I, I don't know. I, I didn't want anything too heavy because I had to go to work. I don't like having a full stomach and getting in and out of that car. It just it, it, It's just a lot of work on the old belly, you know. A lot of hoomph once in a while. And it the chicken was weird. It had a weird texture to it. My nephew also graduated on Friday, but I didn't get to go to his because uh, there wasn't enough tickets. Uh, my brother and his mom have a... Uh, well, they're not together. And it's not the most amic amicable of relationships. Uh, she's She's pretty crazy, I'll say that. And so, I mean, I didn't get to go. That's, uh, you know, I would have liked to have gone to support him, my nephew. But, you know, I can only do so much. Uh, things upcoming. Uh, Comic-Con is next, next week, June 2nd to the 5th. And I bought a pass. I bought a four-day pass because I thought I was going to be... I thought I was going to go in costume. I thought I was going to be able to cosplay. This was going to be my first year uh, actually making a costume and going. I've been, I've been to them before, but, you know, I've just been there as a as a creepy person with a camera taking pictures. I mean, I've, I asked them. I asked them if I, can ask, if I can take your picture. But this year I wanted to be in costume. I was going to, I was going to make two costumes. At first I was going to make one, and then I was going to make two. And now it doesn't look like I'm going to have one, either of them. At first, I was gonna make uh, I was gonna make this last year actually. I was gonna make a Adventure Time costume. I was gonna dress up as Finn from the episode Puhoi, where he goes into this pillow world. Um, I, I I just I just like that episode. You know, it's alternate reality type of episode where where he may or may not have been dreaming. <clears throat> and the costume was gonna be when he was older and he meets the sage. This this mountain this uh, guy in the mountain old old man wisdom guy, and he's wearing like a quilt, and he's still got his hat on, but he's got a long gray beard, and his right arm, like in every incarnation of Finn in the future, he's missing his right arm, you know, so or or his past life or an alternate reality Finn Finn Mertens he has a a, a metal arm. So you know, I was gonna, I was gonna make, I was gonna make that, you know, cover my arm with uh, like a felt, so it looks stuffed. 
and I I haven't gotten to it. I haven't got around to it. The other uh, costume I was going to make was I was going to make my Spartan from Halo 5. It has the, uh, I think, Legionnaire Atlas helmet and Anubis set armor. I don't know. I, it's common, uncommon armor, and I like it. I got all these legendary. I got some mythic armors, but I like this one. I was going to make those. I just didn't just didn't get just didn't get around to it <laughs> between uh, I don't know work and everything else I just didn't seem to ever have the time and uh, before work yesterday I found out that uh, my brother's coming to visit this is the brother that I got that whose car used to belong to the car used to belong to him the Hyundai. The car that the battery died. It used to belong to him. He's coming next week and he's bringing his daughter, which we haven't seen for, I don't know, maybe five or six years now. Hey, you know, they live in the middle of, of the country. It's not too easy. Him and his old, him, him and his sister. They both live up there. And, the you know, they're the oldest in the family. And for whatever reason, they decided that, you know, those states are the best. <laughs> so he's coming down. Uh, and he wanted to talk to me, and I haven't called him yet. I haven't got a chance to call him yet. Um, I had to go to work yesterday, and then today, I don't know when I can talk to him. I don't know what he's doing. So i got to send him a message and uh, see what's up. But he's coming next week, and it just so coincidentally happens to be around uh, Comic-Con time here in Arizona. So I'm sure he's going to want to go to that. He's pretty reserved, but uh, when it comes to like Star Wars and stuff, oh yeah, he's all about that. And you know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I like seeing my brother. He's a good guy. Unique. He's a good guy. Um, I'm sure it'll be real nice for for my niece to see her cousins, cause she's kind of all by herself up there. Oh, jeez. Forty-seven and a half minutes. I honestly didn't know how long this was gonna be, and I don't really know how long I should be recording these. I thought maybe like a half an hour was pushing it, but I guess when I talk about my whole week falling apart and then some small things here or there, <laughs> I can't really push this. The old clock. Last thing I want to talk about was the Spartan Company. My Blazing, my comp, my, my Spartan Company Blazing Cowbell. It uh, it's getting really close to getting that Achilles armor, you know. I made a, a recruit video uh, when we when me and my buddy uh, a Blaze Sandman um, decided to actually you know I guess try for it or something. I mean I I the company started with uh, my friend, his cousin, and his friend, and some of their friends, and and they stopped playing Halo. Like, almost immediately. The game came out, and they played some games, but the game came out when they were at, when I was at work. So I never actually played with them. I never played campaign, I because they were playing when I wasn't working. They were playing when I was working, so I never got to play with them, which is funny. And then uh, they stopped playing, and they moved on to other games. And I just kept playing. And I've been playing Halo ever since, Halo 5 ever since. So I've been playing since launch. And in January... I left the company to make my own company, and then I realized that my stats didn't go along with me, but they stayed there. So I was like, well, shit. So I go back to that company, which I don't remember what it was called at the time. Uh, Burn of Burn of the Dam or something like that. And uh, because his, his name was Burn of APC, <clears throat> the, the company leader, my friend Brandon there. He, uh, so, you know, he, he invited me back in and I asked also for, uh, uh, if I can have control of the company. And he said, you know, he said, sure, he just gave it to me and he put me in charge of it. And, uh, uh, I invited my friend Sandman. And then, uh, from there I made the recruit video and Sandman sent out a bunch of invites and started getting people involved in, into the company and, What's sad is uh, a lot of those people aren't around anymore. 
except for like one guy from the beginning who's in the company, but he blocked me on Xbox Live, so I cannot send him any messages. And I just thought that was just the funniest thing ever. And he, he, it's fine. I'll boot him eventually. Dan. Dan. I'm talking to you. I'm going to boot you. Um, <laughs> but we got all these, we got all these people came in and, you know, we've been, we've been, we've been at a hundred for a good while. He, you know, Sandman watches the, uh, activity of the members make sure that everybody, you know, plays. I understand that there's other games to play and I play them too. When I stream on Twitch, I play, uh, Tomb Raider cause I, I never, I haven't gotten to that yet. So I'm playing that and, uh. But I mean, every now and then you got to come back to Halo. You want to be in the company, you got to come back to Halo and and play play a couple of games. I'm not asking you to play your whole life away. Just a couple of games. Uh, we, you know, we're we're like I think 29 out of 31 commendations for the Achilles armor set. I, it's gonna be a while before we get that helmet, but I know everybody in the company is pretty excited. You know, the forum is a buzz about it. Uh, people are making posts how close we are. So that's nice. Unfortunately, I don't really care. I mean, at first I thought it was fun. I, I think I, I like an, in a completionist standpoint, I'd like it. You know, I'd like to have it. I'd probably wear it a couple of days. Maybe maybe uh, when we get the whole fire team going on in Warzone. Girls Night Out, as it's been dubbed now. Uh, one night. Uh, you know, we had a full fire team of 12, and I said, all right, let's put, everybody put recruit armor on, everybody, uh, you can change your, you can have your visor the same, uh, you know, you, you can be your own visor color, but everybody needs to have the same armor, everybody's emblem has to be a number, and everybody's tag is girl, G-U-R-L, and it, I mean, it was fun, I go, everybody looked the same, except for like two people. They wore the Halo Championship armor. They, that's not what I said. Anyways, but, uh, you know, it, it was fun. We all had a good time. We, we had some good games. And it, all it really did was just cause a lot of confusion with each other. Because the first thing that would pop up would be a tag. You'd see people's tags from a distance. And then the name would appear when you get closer by. So, like, hey, a girl can get in the Warhog. But it's like... We don't know who's, you know, we don't know who's there. We don't know who's talking. We don't see no warthog. Uh, none of the teammates can really communicate with each other. So in the end, we were kind of uh, screwing ourselves over. But it was fun. I mean, some games we got destroyed still. Because, uh, I mean, we were honestly two different. Two, we were two separate uh, Halo companies. Two separate Spartan companies playing together. But we were all working as a semi-dysfunctional team so that's good <sighs> uh, I don't know what else I, I'm, I'm sure that's it right that's good enough 50 almost 54 minutes that was longer than last week um, I'll get this put up be on twitch all week 12 to 2 Arizona time mmm I don't know when I'm going to do that unboxing video. I'm not, I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't know when I'm going to do that video for uh, the. Re I'm not. I don't know when I'm going to do the review video for the phone. Because I know I got to work. Worry about my car. I wanted to go to the uh, to the mountains and take some pictures. I figured if anything would be a good uh, comparison for pictures, it would be up there. Take a whole picture of the city skyline or pollution or however you want to see it and uh, I don't know I'll try and get out there I mean I can just put that's what I was thinking of. I can put my headlight and my bumper back on my car and drive out there but I was like but don't I want to, I want to take a picture of the sunset too I think that would be real nice take a picture of the sunset and uh, I mean the, the, the funny thing is it's like take a take take these comparison pictures but everything is brown because that's what's out here it's brown 
I mean, sure, there's some, like, desert trees and cacti, but everything's still pretty much brown. Brown with uh, spots of green. That's the podcast for this week. I still don't really have a name for it, but I'm sure I'll get around to it. Until next week.
seconds to railgun. victory.
One minute left. Game over. Defeat. 